Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome all of you to the premiere of Dam Triple Nine, Middle East's first international 3D movie. And this is the first of its kind when you talk about UAE, which is bidding for the Oscars. And the screenplay of this movie, or rather the script, is now residing at the desks of the Oscar Library, which means the script of Dam Triple Nine has got a permanent visa to the Oscars. Now, Dam Triple Nine is an emotional thriller which uh, talks about uh, nine characters, nine moods, and a dam of emotions. In this movie, we talk about a centurion old dam which is built by the British, and it is in a fray of a disaster. And if it happens, it will wipe out 2.5 million people. We have the right man here. He is the director of the movie. This man's name is Mr. Sohan Roy. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands to welcome the director of the movie, Mr. Sohan Roy. Uh, thank you very much uh, for coming for this premiere. So after four years of hard work, we are just presenting this movie here. Uh, I think uh, we made this movie with a purpose. And uh, I think last night, uh, I really experienced what impact this movie has started making. I was in Chennai and uh, we had a narrow escape because I, uh, there was a big uh, issue over there. I think uh, most of you might, uh, might have seen it through the various channels. It's now the, the hot subject uh, in the media. Uh, I think uh, uh, now it has become, this uh, dam issue has become um, a national matter and uh, hope uh, the 4,000 outdated dams across the world will be uh, looked into in a different aspect uh, once this movie gets released. We have uh, uh, one of uh, the artists, Linda, the, one of the lead artists of the movie here. Linda, please come. Good morning. Thank you all for coming. I'm very happy to be here. Happy to be a part of promoting this film this past week in Cochin, and then we came across this this conference we wanted to attend yesterday, and uh, I definitely second Mr. Sohan Roy that this is a national concern now. I'm happy that it is, that it's, it's in the light, because these are human lives we're speaking about, and this is something within our control. So hopefully this will um, open, be an eye-opener. And there's also so much more in this film, as you'll see. It's, uh, we have Slumdog Millionaire that picked up the Oscar, but that this shows certain aspects of Bombay and India. What we have in this film, it shows, talks about the Navarasas, Ayurveda, so many different aspects of India interwoven with the drama and foreign actors, international actors together. So, enjoy the film. Thank you very much. The movie you can watch from uh, uh, nine angles. That's the way we have designed the project. For a uh, normal uh, viewing, it's a uh, damn disaster movie. But uh, from the uh, emotional uh, perspective, it's an emotional, damn bursting uh, story. Uh, if you look at it from the musical angle, it's a musical movie. Look at it from uh, Ayurvedic angle. It's an Ayurvedic based movie, you can experience it. We are showing almost nine types of Ayurveda treatments. If you look at it from the astrological point of view, it's an astrology based movie. Look at it from the cultural point of view, it's a voyage to the 5000 years of Indian culture. If you look at it from the lost love angle, we are showing the nine ways of lost love in this movie. So, the movie you have to enjoy in your perspective. Uh, well, whenever you talk about the Middle East, uh, these people have to be highly relied upon because they own almost 70% of the theatres <laughs> in the Middle East. So, Ms. Mahi, if you could please come. Ms. Mahi Golchin, she belongs to a company called Fast Films and Gulf Films. All the theatres belong to them. So, if you want to release a movie in future, they are the guys. Well, this is the show reel. Of course, it's in digital and the reel is different. But for the part of it, Mrs. Sohan Roy giving the show reel to Mrs. Mahi Golshin. Just a few words about the movie. Yeah, um, so it's excellent, perfect, really. Amazing. The concept was perfect. Yeah. Was something, a message in this film? Yes, definitely a message to the whole world about the dam, the existing dams, the old dams which were not uh, uh, repaired or um, maintained properly, especially in the third world. Nobody cares about them. So I think it's, it's worth look to it. Huh? 
It's something really, really awry and uh, emerging. Uh, very impressive, uh, very nice. Um, it, it, I was really living the moment, and uh, well done, uh, Sohan. Well done. How do you find the concept here? Is it worth? Definitely, the concept is so real, and uh, me being a mariner, I'm, I mean, I understand the full concept out of it, and uh, it is, uh, it should be a strong message. Uh, to the governments of uh, the states in India to take this matter very seriously and save uh, human lives over there. Yeah, we just came out. It was a fantastic movie. Um, I, I was just uh, amazed to see um, the depth in the movie, the way which uh, Sohan has uh, taken this known him from the marine industry to come into this. It's, it's fantastic, you know. And uh, most importantly is I thought uh, he's really tried to bring out the real, uh, the real meaning that... Uh, a disaster of this sort, you know, if it has to happen, it will happen. But there are some things a man can do to stop it, indeed, you know, you know, in all, all different, different aspects. Maybe he can do it technologically, maybe by prayers, you know. But uh, whatever it is, in some elements, he showed it also works, you know. So, it's went very well done, excellent. Uh, outstanding movie, uh, it was really, really well done. Uh, I mean to say, from a person from this industry to come out with something so great is really a great task. All the characters were well chosen. The emotions coming out of the individuals was well done. And as you said, you know, you mixed Ayurveda, astrology, marine life, and uh, technology all together. And everything was well done. Everything joined somewhere. And uh, the entire theme of uh, about life, astrology, and how things depend on uh, various things that happens to you and what destiny. And basically, I like the, 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 the Indian culture and uh, the way we think in India, how it has got reality and the science behind it. Absolutely well done, I'm going to say. Well done, team. Yeah, it was a fantastic movie uh, with the uh, masses. And this movie has taken me back to my marine background. It's a lovely watching movie. Thanks. I think it's a wonderfully made movie. Uh, I really enjoyed the way uh, different emotions and the subject matter which is the dam, disaster in the dams around the world has been depicted. Um, I think Suhail is a great uh, director, he has an excellent potential and even without great star cast, the way this uh, movie has been developed and produced and uh, presented is admirable. Well done. It's uh, a nice movie, uh, it's uh, very well, we will uh, uh, advise the other people and recommend it to everybody here in UAE and out, even outside. Thank you very much. I am engineer Om Mecca, I am marine engineer, the senior most marine engineer going in United Arab Emirates. About the film is superb, first I saw from the naval angle, the way Son Roy has got the ships filmed and the crew and especially the disaster uh, handling is marvelous. Coming back to the culture, it shows how India has 5,000 years of culture and he has highlighted that dams got to be taken care of, otherwise there will be disaster of two and a half million people. I wish Sohan Roy all the best and I'm very proud of him because he comes from the same marine community as I do. Well done Sohan Roy and your team. No, it's uh, mind blowing. I was mighty, mighty impressed, you know. What I thought a shipping would have made a movie about only a ship. But there's so many rituals about South India which I'm really impressed and I know they are very true. Because I've seen all those traditions and rituals being done in South India. Thank you so much. I think uh, the movie was excellent and um, I found it to be uh, very sp like a spiritual journey. I mean, it, was a, it combined so many aspects that uh, and you, one felt proud to you know especially someone from India and depicting our Indian culture and which is so rich and for the whole world to see I think it was a fabulous experience there's not a minute that you got bored I've just come out of the movie and believe me my son will love this movie and all the children should be shown it to understand various aspects of one the Hindu culture and two the shipping aspect kudos to Mr. Sohan Roy for making a, an amazing and entertaining movie Thank you. I cannot believe what I just sat through. It was phenomenal. It was so realistic and so well done that I'm sure it will, in fact, collect an Oscar. It's fantastic, mind-blowing, and very realistic. 
Hi, I'm uh, Nikhil from Gamanesha Lloyd. Uh, this movie was uh, Damn 999, uh, really interesting movie. I was uh, discussing it with uh, some of my friends uh, who were also here and uh, they shared a similar opinion as myself. Hi, I'm uh, Captain Srikant from Seas Offshore. This is the most amazing movie I have seen with uh, Marina making the movie with a lot of emotion and uh, the way the each character representation on the picture deck was excellent. Kerala was as usual, as green as ever. It was amazing. The movie has taken all the effects and uh, the sound and everything was excellent. The movie is very good and I wish him all the best to make it uh, an Oscar winner. Uh, yeah, that has been interrupted, so already started in Tamil Nadu, which we have seen. Not only really Tamil Nadu, right now I got the message that uh, uh, DMK has uh, uh, visited Prime Minister and uh, they are conducting a press conference at Delhi, right now, to ban the movie uh, in India. I don't know if, uh, what is wrong with this movie to be banned in India. In such an eventuality, what will be your next move? Uh, to? Uh, no, uh, uh, I got a census that is from India. I have to fight. It, it, it will go to the court, no, not us. But no one the history that such a thing happened. Like, yeah, there is a problem. The censor, uh, censor board is for that one. Censor board give us a clean certificate. Uh, then uh, why should the, uh, the politician should interfere and uh, block a movie like this? For what reason? Yeah, Mr. Roy, uh, I'm Sergio Matthew, uh, representing Imagine TV. Uh, this movie has a social cause. Definitely, we are facing uh, a major uh, disaster. Maybe. We are, uh, it can happen anytime. So, uh, there is a, a major social cause for this. So, how you are going to, there is a distributor also here, how you are going to uh, make others or, or how you are going to make sure that all of the Tamil Nadu people are also, or they should also watch this movie. Because, because I, I mean, I've seen the movie, I can't see anything wrong in this. I mean, probably this is the news wrong news which they got, that is why they all are against this. So you have to reach this message to everyone, this is the cause, or if they, if they, if do not, they do not act now, this is the consequence is going to happen. So we have uh, uh, mediums like uh, social mediums, there are different mediums, so are you going to use those mediums to reach this message to those guys? Yeah, actually, the, uh, no, the, actually you are the right messengers, because uh, uh, you have the tool to convey these things. Uh, actually, this is a wrong trend. Without seeing the movie, uh, responsible persons like uh, the political leaders, they interfere in this kind of situations and uh, create uh, such a wide media, uh, a negative media uh, thing against these movies. That is, uh, uh, it is really affecting the creativity of uh, many people. Because I am not, not a full-time filmmaker, but there are so many full-time filmmakers, they are facing this kind of problems uh, regularly. So, this is not a good trend. Uh, this is for Mr. Roy and the distributor. Considering it's a social issue and the backdrop given as an Indian movie, how do you plan to, uh, you know, tap the global influence? It's all, uh, already we have a global marketing plan. Already we have attended the Berlin, uh, Hong Kong, uh, American film markets. We have met all the local distributors uh, and we have made a plan to be uh, to distribute this movie in 200 countries. It's already in place. Only we are just waiting for the international release just because of uh, the Oscar nomination declaration. It will be uh, out by December and so we think we have a lot of hope at least to get at least one nomination uh, since the script is already into the library. So if we get a nomination the release will be after March but uh, we have already, uh, the network is already formed so it is not a big issue. So um, any kind of news is good news okay, in, in terms of publicity? So this disruption happening in India, do you think that will help in your distribution? Yeah, one way it is very good because this kind of allegations naturally give a publicity. But uh, if the movie is banned entirely in India, that means uh, that is the end of the road. Because India is supposed to be the uh, biggest film industry in the number of uh, cinema goers. Because it is too, uh, it's almost double than uh, if you club uh, US and uh, Canada together. But just because of India's um, theatre rates are very less, uh, still, Hollywood has the um, upper hand. Otherwise, India is supposed to be the biggest film market, and if a um, few politicians interfere and um, ban the movie uh, in India, it will uh, surely affect uh, uh, our uh, distribution. Hi, everyone. Uh, we are covering the Gulf as distributors, and it's definitely not going to affect our distribution. Yeah, we've got right now UAE, we're releasing it tomorrow in nine cinemas. We 
between Sweden and 35 mm divided across the UAE, and then it will go on to GCC countries. And uh, the only reason it's been stopped and demanded to be banned in India is because of the political party. It's all political. And it's not the first time. We distribute this for all Bollywood films, South Indian films in, in the region. And it's not the first time, obviously, you hear about some political party coming up and because of the, all the hype around the film, someone has to say something. And someone has to create something negative about it. So, as you said, publicity, whether it's good or bad, it is publicity for the film. And it's going to even make it better for the film. Because this is for the people. And if it's going to create awareness, we are 100% behind it. And they've got to be aware that something like this is happening. And the people will watch it. It's not like they're going to stop. It's only those parties that will try to convince others not to watch it. Um, and I hope it opens in India because it will be a shame. It's homegrown. It's here. That's why we are supporting it um, all the way. So it doesn't matter right now. Um, as long as we're releasing it here, GCC later, and it's got uh, global, uh, global screenings as well, uh, distribution as well, it's just a matter of time before they, you know, as always, come back <laughs> and just go, you know, something that, that will be sort of old news soon. Yes, I'd, I'd like to just second the, the importance of awareness. And it's a beautiful film about India, so I think that would be most unfortunate. But I don't think that's where we should direct our energy. I think we definitely need to stay positive and, and see the beauty in this film and, um, and know that this will, this will get out there. Can, can you pass the mic, please? So, really. Are you thinking this uh, political game in Tamil Nadu? It's uh, just for political gain only because uh, they have been using uh, this dam issue for a long time. Otherwise, uh, because, uh, this uh, particular dam issue got only totally one solution. Uh, constructed a new dam because this is an earthquake prone area in the last nine months, I think 22 earthquakes happened. Uh, so, only one solution we need to build a, a new dam which, which can withstand uh, earthquakes and other things. That's what they're worried about. Yeah, this they is the only solution. Know. And uh, if it is a bigger dam, uh, uh, maybe uh, the Tamil Nadu will uh, get more water also. But instead of going for this proper solution, uh, uh, just keep on doing it. Uh, that particular dam will uh, collapse anytime, no doubt. Um, so, Roy, what made you to think of such a subject? I mean, this is your first movie, you say. Actually, uh, everything, uh, because uh, four years back when I was looking for a subject, Actually, I read an article about the Mulaberia dam issue. Uh, then uh, I started doing some research on uh, the dam. Then I realized that in, uh, the biggest man-made disaster ever happened in the world, yeah, that was in uh, Bangkok in China in 1975, where 250,000 people got killed in a dam disaster. It is worse than the nuclear uh, disaster in uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Uh, then I uh, realized that uh, Bangkok and Mulaberia have got the same capacity. And Mulaberia is situated almost uh, seven times uh, uh, more high. So I thought, okay, uh, we need to do a detailed study. Then uh, then I realized that there are 4,000 uh, dams across the world in the similar conditions in various con uh, countries. For example, in the Middle East, if you look at Iraq, uh, there is one dam, it's called Mosul Dam, before its name was uh, Saddam Hussein Dam. It is in a very critical condition, it's a leak already started. If it uh, breaks, 500,000 people will die. So everywhere, everywhere in the world, uh, it's a big issue. So we made a documentary. That documentary already won 20 international awards, 12 from US. So that means it's a very serious matter. Uh, by 2020, 40,000 uh, dams will cross the lifespan. That means 85% of the, all the large dams will cross the lifespan. And uh, none of the governments got the proper planning or uh, fund to replace all these dams. So uh, if, uh, if we start thinking about uh, uh, making new dams, at least we should plan for the replacement. Every year, if we keep 10% uh, from the revenue that we are generating from the dams uh, towards the replacement, uh, um, uh, end of, uh, when it goes the lifespan, you, have, uh, you can uh, replace it. But now, uh, none of the dams got the fund to replace uh, the old one. In fact, there was another disaster sometime, I don't know how many years ago. This was in uh, Morvi, in Maharashtra. Remember yeah. that? No, no, every year, on an average, if you look at the history, on an average, every year there is a dam disaster across the world. Uh, in the last uh, 1,000 years, uh, uh, almost 2,000 dam, uh, dam failures uh, occurred. Uh, just because of all these small dams, it did not uh, make uh, big news. Uh, but if, uh, there are so many big uh, dam disasters also. Is it wrong? 
Do you think that this dam issue will be resolved uh, due to the impact created by the you know, weather awareness? Because people have already started See, discussing uh, no, the yeah, issue. Yeah, from the last one week onwards, just because of this movie, uh, and the, the, uh, last week also then earthquake happened, two days back in Malabiria. So uh, the next day a uh, news about the movie also came, so everything clubbed together and now it's a hot subject. I think that there will be a solution soon. Because both Kerala and Tamil Nadu, they are seriously discussing about uh, the matter. So when it's a very hot subject, even uh, today P.T. Thomas MP has uh, jumped into the well uh, in the parliament yeah. regarding military yeah. issue and uh, uh, why can't you make a screening of uh, this film for the top politicians in, the, in Delhi? Yes, no, this is what I, if, uh, yesterday I gave a press release uh, in, from Chennai when all these uh, issues uh, came. So I, and the press release is like this, we are ready to show it anywhere, no problem. It is up to them because uh, we cannot uh, forcefully show them, they have to give us permission. And we are ready to show it any time, any, anywhere. Now, have you uh, uh, talked to somebody? Uh, no, the, today uh, I think uh, the uh, local distributors they are trying to meet uh, General Da today evening or something. So uh, there is a chance that uh, uh, they will have a screening in Ch Chennai first, then uh, they may go for the... Because it, uh, it depends on today's discussion with the Prime Minister. I don't know what is the decision taken. Uh, maybe we, will, we can have a screening in uh, Delhi also. Discussion with Prime Minister? Yeah. By whom? Uh, I think uh, DMK leaders, uh, they already visited the Prime Minister and uh, now they are uh, conducting a press conference at Delhi. So they are for it or they are against it? No, no, they want to ban the movie in India. That is the demand. But Mr. Roy, anyway, you can take pride in uh, actually, you know, this role as an eye-opener or even uh, as uh, what is called a new way of thinking about this. Anyway, it's a, it's a new eye-opener. Okay, uh, thanks. Uh, but uh, the thing is, uh, the, uh, the sad part is, the 16 national award winners lined up the, behind this project. Because from the uh, first day onwards, uh, I told them, okay, we should bid for the Oscars. So they all tried their level best. You won't believe, each and every person, for example, sound designer, he spent more than 1,500 hours for the sound design. Normally, he spent only 350 to 400 hours for a normal movie. Uh, uh, Ajay Vincent, he spent almost, I think, uh, hundreds, uh, uh, hundreds of days for this project. The um, shoot was only for 91 days, but after that, for the post production, spent so many days uh, to take care of everything. Uh, then uh, editing. editing, editing also the same thing. Uh, so many revisions happened, and um, uh, the total hours went to more than 1,500 hours. So all this effort are, uh, is going to be in vain if uh, this kind of uh, ban is coming. So that is the sad part. Yeah. And actually, the very purpose of making this movie is uh, just like an airplane for Slumdog Miller. Slumdog Miller gave a negative image for India. Uh, every, people think that India is full of slums who have never come to India. Our, uh, they are not much aware about India. But this, uh, we are highlighting the positive side of India through this movie. Uh, the, all the richness of uh, what uh, um, we have in India. But uh, unfortunately, uh, just like in the movie, the political uh, villain, uh, uh, the politi politician becomes the villain. Here in the real sense also, uh, the politicians become the villain. You talked about the uh, different dimensions about the movie. Yeah. And you have named it as uh, Triple Man. Yeah. Uh, do you think the Tamil Nadu politicians are raising uh, uh, this sort of an issue? Basically because they are, their, their niece also runs something similar. <laughs> yeah. You know, but maybe, uh, th th just because of, you no, know, they think that uh, this uh, 999, uh, is making a, um, uh, the name itself is uh, about the 999 year uh, contract. Okay, well, of course, is, is in the movie also there we are just mentioning something about that. Okay. Because actually, uh, just imagine about, uh, because we are just highlighting this kind of uh, uh, nonsense contracts also. Is there any logic in uh, making a contract when you build a dam uh, for 999 years? It's absolute bullshit. This is what we are trying to do. The, because through a movie, we can condemn anything. So that's why just through one dialogue we are just uh, highlighting uh, about this nonsense and so on. Can you talk about the cast? The cast? No, actually, this is a Navarata, since it's a Navarata based movie, uh, we, uh, we couldn't go for uh, uh, any established or commercial uh, uh, stars. Because if you go for one commercial star, all the nine should be equally. Otherwise, one person should go up, one Rata will go, uh, go up. That's why uh, we had a balanced uh, cast. That also uh, depends on the acting skill. And we had uh, national award winners like Ashish Vidyasi, Rajesh Kapoor, uh, uh, and uh, uh, the people from uh, Vinay Rai. He, he had three, uh, he's a very famous upcoming 
artists from Tamil industry. Then Vimala Raman, she is acting in around five languages. Uh, uh, Janis Tras, he is a very famous artist, child artist in India. He, go, he acted in 150 advertisements and many movies. Uh, then we had an audition in uh, uh, Los Angeles. Uh, I got um, uh, Joshua and uh, Jala from there. And uh, Linda is uh, was famous in Hollywood and in India. She is the uh, most popular Hollywood actress in uh, India. She acted in almost uh, in Parishti Raja got released in five languages, four languages, I think. Uh, and also one more thing is that we are happy to say that this is the first movie in India to be released in five different languages. And the uh, uh, unfortunate thing is the best uh, <coughs> dub, uh, uh, version is the Tamil version. I became a fan of the, the dubbing artists. You know? They have done wonderful job. Mr. Sohan, it's a sheer coincidence that this movie is releasing at this point of time where the entire Kerala is facing uh, a critical issue. Yeah. And uh, probably when, the, when did this thought come into your mind? I mean, have you seriously talked or rather learnt about the whole project? You knew there was something very dangerous coming up and that's when you realized, yes, I have to do something. Yeah, I told you, you know, four years back I read an article about uh, Mulaperia. From there only everything started, this idea started. And uh, yes, and about the Sabrinad issue, many people were talking about it. I think uh, probably uh, they are aware that if the people get to know about the real things, or rather even, you know, uh, especially the citizens out there, they get to know about this, I'm sure, like, you know, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't create a good image about the politicians in Tamil Nadu. Probably that's the reason they are, they wanted to ban the movie in Tamil Nadu. Yes, see, as, uh, as in the street or as you have seen the movie, the next bowl war will be for water. So, it's the same thing. Tamil Nadu is badly looking for water and uh, Kerala we have plenty of water. Uh, Rainwater what we are getting for uh, two days or three days, if we store and give it to Tamil Nadu, that is more than sufficient for Tamil Nadu. But unfortunately all this uh, water is uh, just flowing to Arabian Sea. So these dams are built for that only. But uh, so we don't mind to have a, a dam in uh, this, uh, a new dam there. But the only thing is a political solution should be there to demolish this dam. Uh, because there's a legal contract between Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Uh, for 919 years. That uh, contract we need to uh, cancel first. So, hope uh, this uh, movie will make some uh, impact or some um, Supreme Court will take a decision uh, by themselves. So, when if uh, Telugu was there in place of Rajat Kabo, yeah. uh, the dialogue uh, would have been in English or in Malayalam? No, it was a mix. The script will be, uh, uh, there was a slight change in the script also. We made a, a slight change for the Rajat Kabo role. But uh, Tilagan, uh, because uh, I wrote the script with Tilagan in my mind. Yeah. So uh, that's why in the last uh, two days back we had a press conference in Cochin. He came for that personally and uh, he only uh, launched the Malayala script uh, of Dam Triple Land. So. so you have changed the... Uh, yeah, slightly, slightly. So which other languages? Uh, yeah, in English, Hindi, uh, Telugu, Tamil and the Malayala. Cinema shooting during a summit to the Paranimitangalum, so on Roy Kidanaka release. Isa is cinema to the summit to Jolson country. No, Ilani, Patimarinale, Angana, Kadimata Jolson, which is still a pinnitic, where some bungalow on the Pedic, any vicious I don't get in the queue or a bit of oil huddles and a shape, where I'm going on the Jingle, either Shakti Vinilum, either problem dilum or come chaser under Idum or can see an Ashakti for Island down the MC. Issue <laughs> ഫുൾസ് <laughs> <laughs> ഫുൾ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ഫുൾ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ഈ ഒരു ഫിലിം ഒബിയസ്ലി ഇപ്പം ഇപ്പോൾ കറൻസി മാറ്
ലോകത്തിൽ മുല്ലപ്പെരിയാർ കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഏറ്റവും ബിഗസ്റ്റ് ത്രിട്ട് ഈസ് മുസൂൾ ഡാം അതായത് ഇത് പഴയ സദാ ഹുസൈൻ ഡാം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന സാധനം അത് പൊട്ടിക്കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇറാഖ് ആയതുകൊണ്ട് അധികം അഞ്ചു ലക്ഷം പേരെ മരിക്കത്തുള്ളൂ അതേ ഡാം ഇന്ത്യയിലാണ് പെട്ടെന്നെങ്കിൽ കേരളത്തിലെ പെട്ടെന്നെങ്കിൽ മുല്ലപ്പെരിയാറിനേക്കാളും ഡേഞ്ചറസ് ആണ് അത് മുല്ലപ്പെരിയാറിനേക്കാളും വലിയ ഡാമാണ് പക്ഷെ അവിടുത്തെ പോപ്പുലേഷനും അവിടുത്തെ ജോഗ്രഫിയും കാരണമാണ് ഇറാഖിൽ അഞ്ചു ലക്ഷം പേര് പക്ഷേ ഷുവർ ആണ് മരിക്കുന്നത് എന്നിട്ട് ഓൾറെഡി ഇത് ലീക്ക് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് ആ ഡാമില് അപ്പൊ അങ്ങനെ ലോകത്തിന്റെ പല ഭാഗത്ത് ഇതുപോലുള്ള ഇഷ്യുണ്ട് The, my first Malayalam film is a film called Harashi Raja. Harashi Raja, okay. He's a very well-known, very talented, very wonderful man, uh, Mamuti. So, so it was a wonderful opportunity to work with a great director, Harashi yeah, Raja. He, he actually had a film in 1986 that went to, uh, was nominated for the best foreign film. So it's yeah. a wonderful, Plymouth of a film, a big epic war film. Exactly. So um, very controversial as well, because, and it was very uh, educating. ഡാം ട്രിപ്ലിനെ ദുബൈ പ്രീമിയർ ഇപ്പോൾ വിജയകരമായി സമാപിച്ചിരിക്കുകയാണ് ഇവിടെ ദുബൈ യു എയിലുള്ള മിക്കവാറും എല്ലാ മാധ്യമ പ്രവർത്തകരും ഇവിടെ എത്തിയിരുന്നു മറ്റു വിശിഷ്ട വിധികളും വന്നിരുന്നു പക്ഷെ എല്ലാവരും ഒന്നടങ്ങുമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ഈ ഒരു ചിത്രം ബാൻ ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് ഒരു ശതമാനം പോലും ആവശ്യമുണ്ടായിരുന്നില്ല വളരെ നിർഭാഗ്യകരമായി പോയി ഇപ്പോൾ ഈ ഒരു ചിത്രം ഇന്ത്യയിൽ ബാൻ ചെയ്യണമെന്നുള്ള ഒരു ശ്രമം തമിഴ്നാട്ടിലെ രാഷ്ട്രീയ പാർട്ടികൾ ഉന്നയിക്കുന്ന ഈ ഒരു കാരണം ചിത്രം കാണാതെ ഇത് ചെയ്ത് വളരെ നിർഭാഗ്യകരമായി പോയി ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ആകെയുള്ള അഭ്യർത്ഥന ഇതുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ടവർ ദയവായി ഈ ചിത്രം ഒന്ന് കാണുക ചിത്രം കണ്ടതിന് ശേഷം നിങ്ങൾ ഇതിനുവേണ്ടി സമരം ചെയ്യുകയോ ഇതിനെ ബാൻ ചെയ്യുകയോ എന്തുവേണമെങ്കിലും ചെയ്തു ഞങ്ങൾ ഒരു വളരെ വലിയ ഒരു മെസ്സേജാണ് ഈ ചിത്രത്തിലൂടെ കൊടുക്കുന്നത് അത് ലോ മുല്ലപ്പെരിയാർ മാത്രമല്ല ലോകത്തിലുള്ള അപകടം പിടിച്ച എല്ലാ ഡാമുകളിലും അത് ഏത് രീതിയിലുള്ള ദുരന്തം വിതയ്ക്കാം എന്നുള്ളതാണ് വളരെ ശക്തമായ ഒരു പ്രമേയത്തിലൂടെ അവതരിപ്പിക്കുന്നത് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഈ ചിത്രം ദയവ് ചെയ്ത് ഇവർ കാണട്ടെ അതിനുശേഷം എന്ത് പ്രതിഷേധത്തിനും പോകട്ടെ ഏതായാലും ഇതിന്റെ റിലീസ് നാളെ ഇവിടെ മിഡിൽ ഉണ്ടാവും റിപ്പോർട്ടുകൾ അതോടുകൂടി വരും അതോടെ ഈ പ്രതിഷേധം നടത്തുന്നവരുടെ മനം മാറുമെന്ന് തന്നെയാണ് ഞങ്ങൾ കരുതുന്നത് അത് മാത്രമല്ല ഇതിന്റെ തമിഴ് ഡബ്ബിങ് വളരെ മനോഹരമായിട്ടുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ ഞങ്ങൾ തമിഴ് ഇവിടെ റിലീസ് ചെയ്യാനെ കുറിച്ച് ആലോചിക്കുകയാണ് അപ്പോൾ ഇവിടുത്തെ തമിഴ് തമിഴ് ആൾക്കാർ കാണുമ്പോൾ തന്നെ അവരിൽ നിന്നും ഒരു പ്രതികരണം ലഭിച്ചതിന് ശേഷം ഈ രാഷ്ട്രീയ പാർട്ടികളും അവരുടെ നിലപാട് മാറ്റും എന്ന് പ്രതീക്ഷിക്കുന്